Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna review this LED dusk to dawn security light and as its name implies, so it turns on at dusk and turns off at dawn, assuming you leave the power on for this light. So it has a color temperature of 5000K, which is closer to daylight. And so it's not the soft warm color, it's more of the daylight color. It has uh, 4500 lumens, which is quite a bit amount of light, especially considering the fact that it uses 45 watts of power to achieve this. So we have the manual here with the installation. So I'll show you the install as well as you know what it looks like at night, how much light it gives off. So it looks like this is a foamish, rubberish foamish type of material. I guess it's for the weather seal. And here is the light. Let's open this up. Okay. So we have, you, black is usually power or life, white is usually neutral, and green is usually ground. And you're able to twist these like this, like this, and this one, well, you could pretty much twist this any way you, almost any way you want, and this as well. So you have a lot of leeway, and it feels fairly smooth when I'm doing this. Okay, so after turning off the breaker, again, make sure the breakers are off. I'm checking for any voltages with my non-contact AC voltage detector. I'll put the product links in the description below if you guys are interested. But again, I should mention that I'm not a licensed electrician, so do this at your own risk. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, please do not. Call a professional and just have them do it because this can be very, very dangerous. So I'm going to screw in the metal piece because this is what the light fixture is going to attach to and I'm going to hand tighten it just so I could feel it out. So one thing about this light is that it has a dust to dawn sensor. Now you have the option of covering this with an included rubber piece that again it's included with it and when you do this you could just turn it on and off whenever you want day or night. However when it is exposed when you turn on the light it will only go on if it's dark outside hence the dust to dawn sensor. Removing the film off the foam, you attach it to the wall, and I also recommend taking out all the wires from one side, it just makes it easier. So I'm going to use lever nuts, which are optional, it does not come with this product, but it just makes life much easier when you're trying to connect wires to each other. And these are by Wago. So continuing on, all you do is you basically connect the black to the black, which is live the white to the white which is neutral and the green to the copper color which is ground. So this is my color combination. Now these are typical color combinations you'll find in the US. However, this does not guarantee that black is necessarily live. So this is something you do have to check and again, if you're not sure about this, it's always a good idea to call a professional for help. But I verified that it was black, that was the live wire, so I verified all the wires were correct before proceeding on. And moving to the last piece of the install, essentially you just need a long Phillips screwdriver that you screw in and you're good to go. So after this, you can adjust the lights however you see fit. It's very smooth when you're adjusting it. It stays. You don't really need to tighten anything. Again, you have a lot of free play here. Good to go. Now that the install is complete, I turned on the breaker and I turned on the light switch and I put the little rubber piece to show you guys that the light turns on. And as soon as I remove that, the dust to dawn sensor senses that it is light outside and it turns off. And again, when I put that piece on, it turns on. And when I remove it, it's sensing that again, it is light outside, so it no longer turns on. But here's the true test where I turn it on at night and you could see that it gives off plenty of light especially for the side of my place so you could tell it's completely lit up the area from one side to the other i'm very happy with the product if you guys have any questions or comments let me know in the comment sections below as always smash that subscribe button and i'll catch you guys in the next one